color finals. And let's talk a little. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the history going into this epic winners finals. Boo Boo Doo Boo versus Stellar. Two players that played each other in that super where it went to a game five. G1 taking down Cloud9 in an epic finish. And then it Worlds. They faced off again. And that went to game five as well. So in 4v4 oh, yeah. against these two teams, we see tight matches. And I'm expecting more of the same here as we kick one off. Or excuse me, kick this one off with Boo Boo Boo. Both players picking up where they left off on Aquarius. They both won their series 2-0 to oh in the semis. So now we're on Aquarius yet again. Camo back in play. Uh, Dynamo grenades, heat wave, and the carbine, the blue gun, are the three on the GA block. That just means gentlemen's agreement. The two players have agreed to not use those three items. But Camo is fair game. And Stellar off of that early Camo win is pushing this fight. Boo Boo Doo might have just given him the slip. And there's the pressure use. Look at him enough to regen his shield boo oh. oh my goodness how does he come out with that win all the odds advantages stacked up against him stellar had boo boo Doo boo dead to rights and it was the bait and switch of yourself almost from boo boo Doo boo <laughs> yeah. there did you see, like with the use of yeah. the, like he went underneath wrapped back around and then when stellar finally got an eye on him he thrust it out of danger and then slid back into the gunfight with his shields recharged absolutely perfect timing and positioning here from boo boo Doo boo as he rides it to a hot 10 start the only thing I worry about is can they keep up this pace of every 1v1 being a highlight reel moment? Right now, Boo Boo Doo, the second takedown, maybe not as flashy as the first, but with it, he has locked down that top mid control, what they have both been fighting for. He has great utility to work with. Thrusters, grenades, Stellar goes for the high ground looking for him. Boo Boo Doo being kind of wily again. Crouch down there on P1, and now the players find each other. Commando fire being dealt out boo boo doo boo's at one shot left stellar's at one shot left i think they're gonna fall back regen the shields and try again here comes the jump up and at this point it's almost a mental battle as much as it is a battle against boo boo doo boo as stellar probably feels like he should be up 2-0 and now it's another, excuse me, it's Camo going into the suit of Boo Boo Doo Boo. Stellar got that first. We saw Thrust beat Camo, but not this time as Boo Boo Doo Boo takes down T Stellar and earns himself an early 3-0 lead. Do we have a word for the combination of com Commando plus Camo? Commando, I think. <laughs> so I'm going to go Camo with. Nando. Camo Nando. Camo Nando. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. <laughs> Camo Nando combination might just be the 1v1 strat when it comes to Aquarius. Combining those two utilities. Obviously, the power up being so crucial. But right now, Stellar looking to get back into this game needs to get a kill up on the board. 3 to 0 is overcomable. But if we go to 4, even 5, if we see a killing spree off the rip, that's wow. going to be oh, almost demoralizing. And we are getting really close to that just kind of morale crushing 5-0 and let's uh let's let's realize this too stellar boo boo doo two of the best players in the world and both have not yet qualified for that final top eight for sixteen thousand dollars so the want to the desire there for both teams and it looks like so far early on in this game that boo boo doo just wants it a little bit more so far, uh, you do have to take into account, though. Stellar had a little bit of a break. You mentioned he might be, you know, taking notes on Boo Boo Doo's play style, but maybe he's also coming back a, a, a little bit cold and needs yeah. to shake off the rust because I'm not seeing the same Stellar that we saw in the semifinals. Boo Boo Doo coming out with that 5 to 0, oh, that killing spree. Yeah, and now it's another camo up in 15 seconds. And if Boo Boo Doo Boo can, can earn himself this six kill and the camo, He's pretty much ended the game just after a few minutes, Magic. So an unbelievably hot start here for Boo Boo Doo Boo in this winner's finals. And if he keeps playing like this, he might find himself in the grand finals. But don't look now. Stellar with an answer back. He's on the board. He's got one. And he's got camo to boot. The timing was perfect there. Boo Boo Doo Boo was kind of uh, blocking off the thrusters with that plasma grenade and Stellar waited for the grenade to clear, went and grabbed the thrusters, then challenged high ground, gets the kill, gets the camo. But he doesn't have, uh, he has time. But if he wants to get the full usage of this camo, he needs to hunt Boo Boo Doo Boo. And he is checking his corners. He's going to find him. He didn't go for the back smack instead. He trusted that the commando camo combo was going to get the job done. And now we're looking at a much tighter matchup. And I love the recognition there from Stellar. Jotting down mental notes throughout this match. If you recall, the last 
time he had camo, Boo Boo Doo Boo parked it in the uh, in the fridge there. Same exact play. So Stellar kind of using the process of elimination to find Boo Boo Doo Boo based on that game sense, based on that mental note he jotted down. And he's got it back to within three here, despite the hot start from Boo Boo Doo Boo. So if he can get himself another kill here, mm -hmm. if he can get himself another camo, he's right back in it. He could be right back in this game and things can shift so quickly, seemingly a slower pace in these 1v1s, but it's all about that momentum, one side to the other. Now, Stellar has that pick of map location. He's always chosen this top mid, usually there on the P side. Now, Boo Boo Doo Boo has him at one shot and what a just a great movement, just kind of dodges out of the way of those final bullets in order to win over that kill. And he's going to monopolize the thrusters on this map. He's going to scavenge some more thruster for him to use, and he's going to eliminate the potential for Stellar to grab it on that side of the map. So a potential five evade uses, thrust thrust uses for Boo Boo Doo Boo, and none for Stellar. Excuse me, never mind. He's got three, so he did pick up the thrust over on the blue side. So definitely going to see that come to play here as we see Boo Boo thrust out of danger. Stellar thrusting back into it, looking to take down Boo Boo Doo Boo. He's got the advantage, but now it's gone. Boo Boo Doo Boo, perfect timing, <laughs> regains his shields. He's full, Stellar's low, but he's not gonna chase the kill. Instead, he's gonna secure the camo instead. I love that big, big brain play right there from Boo Boo Doo Boo. Yeah, when you have the choice of power up or kill on the board and you're the player with the four point advantage already, definitely keeping that power up out of stellar hands is the move to make. You're buying yourself some time. You're also uh, just keeping them away from being able to make an aggressive play with the camo. And Boo Boo Doo Boo has stellar on the run now. A little bit of damage. Stellar once again going for the top mid control. There's the early damage that Boo Boo Doo Boo earns because of having the camo in hand. Looks like this camo is not going to win him a kill but again it's that denial factor and despite the decent pace it's not as fast as we thought this one's all but slowed down to a crawl as neither player wants to make the mistake that could potentially give his opponent a free kill and that camo like we talked about all game usually when you get a kill here at top mid you earn camo as well so it's really like taking down two kills if you will as boo boo doo boo and stellar meet once again a little MK action from Boo Boo Doo Boo. Stellar with that battle rifle out. Boo Boo with the plasma as well, using everything in the toolkit to not necessarily take down Stellar here, but just keep him at bay with that four kill lead. And Boo Boo Doo Boo might be in the holiday spirit on that MK. You see that the red, green, and white skin on the sidekick using it, not just to ring in some, you know, holiday spirit, but also to deal out some damage onto Stellar. All the while, Stellar does hold that top mid control. And Boo Boo Doo Boo, this is where we see that slower pace. That four point lead when you're up against an opponent like Stellar, you might be happy to play the strategy that we have seen be so effective throughout these weeks of 1v1s, which is take the lead and then slow down the game so that you can hold that lead Boo -boo -doo -boo -doo doing a great job of that as he's got the high ground stellar does have thrust but boo boo with the high ground has the advantage he takes him down because of it now boo boo doo -boo building on that lead he's got the five kill lead and like we said earlier taking down an opponent around the time that camo comes up usually leads to uh and used to camo uh, leads to a camo earn for that player as well yeah. excuse me as I'm stumbling over my words, but Boo Boo Doo Boo not stumbling over any of his strategies <laughs> here as he's got himself a five kill lead on Stellar. Commando shots going down. Ooh. They're nearly perfect, but the Bloom just barely taking enough of an emphasis there to allow Stellar the opportunity to get away. But he's gonna have to do much more if he wants to come back in this game. And we might see the engagement. Here we go. That's the perfect you were looking for. Nearly had it on the last commando play, but this time he does fully connect with those shots. And uh, honestly, the commando buff and the recent slight nerve there to the BR really making this a viable cool. option in these fights. Boo Boo Doo Boo putting the BR there to work. Uh, gets another takedown, extending that lead to seven. And we're looking at just three minutes left on the clock. It's going to start getting desperate here for Stellar absolutely uh, and you see it from stellar he's normally would not probably take that gunfight like this but he has to push up he has to kind of chase here and if you're boo boo doo boo you'd love that trade out as he maintains the seven kill lead 
that was a beautiful trade honestly stellar had that kill in the bank and boo boo doo boo with kind of the the hell mary plasma grenade makes it turn out to be a, only a trade and again trades are always going to be in the favor of the team and or player that's in the lead stellar once again looking for that aggressive play needs to push the issue ends up with a win on that one but i think he knows that this is very much a too little too late looking again to build momentum for game two as he searches for boo boo doo off of that respawn and boo boo is right behind him on the low ground on the p side stellar checking yellow base unfortunately revealed his back and now stellar is the one being hunted down as boo boo tosses the grenade doesn't find the mark but he picks up the camo again seemingly for free and what a flip there uh, under normal circumstances a little bit closer game stellar probably waits out that 10 15 seconds for camo instead he's got to chase boo boo doo boo and he falls right into the waiting hands of his fist as he takes down stellar once again and he's now up 11 to 4 so magic i i thought we'd have an mm -hmm. 11 13 game a uh, 12 14 maybe but 11 to 4 here is quite the shock they might be GA, but we are certainly not <laughs> <laughs> certainly not unimpressed by the gameplay we've seen here from Boo Boo Doo Boo as he's up eight here with just over a minute to go. That'll just about do it. Shots are GA, but being surprised by the outcome is not as Boo Boo Doo Boo is now at 13, just two away from that 15 point mark or a minute and 10 seconds, whichever comes first. This is a best of three, so it's going to be the pressure onto Stellar heading into game number two. Now, I know we're getting a bit ahead of wow. ourselves, but I think the game warrants it with the 10 kill difference, the one minute on the clock. Uh, I think it might be mathematically impossible uh, for Stellar to come back at this stage again. But I'm excited about game number two because we are going to live fire, which I have to say might be my favorite to watch or to cast when it comes to these 1v1s. And it should provide a little bit of an opportunity for Stellar to get back on his steez with that sniper rifle. We saw him put put it to good use in that uh, earlier series. And we saw him do a great job with the repulsor as well. No repulsor on Aquarius. We saw him do a great job with it earlier in the tournament on Live Fire. So looking to see if he can take advantage of the equipment at play here on this next map to come back in the series. But he's going to need it, Magic, if he's here, uh, if he's going to avoid the 2-0 sweep. I would love to see Stellar forcing this into a game number three, but it's going to come down to the live fire coming up next as we review some of the replays from game number one. Uh, I, the very first kill, I, I have to say, yeah. was a very wild. And uh, hopefully if we have time, we can kind of circle back to that because it was an impressive kill in and of itself. But the fact that it was the first play out the gates really kind of set the precedent and set the the uh, mood, if you will, for this whole game. And we would Dubu off of that first win unexpectedly was then able to continue on that winning spree. Yeah, once Boo Boo Dubu set the tone with that first opening mm -hmm. kill, it was really on Stellar to potentially stop the bleeding. And we didn't see any of that until Boo Boo had already gotten five kills on the board. And when you're talking about a player like Boo Boo Dubu, you can't give him an inch. And Stellar gave him a couple yards there with that lead. And because of it, Boo Boo Dubu takes down game one easily. And now it's Stellar with his back up against the wall. Boo Boo Dubu needing one more game to qualify for the $16,000 grand, 16, grand final. Stellar needing one just to take us to a game three here. Something's got to give. Something has got to give. And when we're looking over Live Fire, the sniper to work with, the repulsor to work with, uh, that has been a huge player in these 1v1s. Even going back to uh, the matchup on Live Fire, it was the quarterfinals, I believe, where the plasma grenade across the middle of the map, both players were pulsed in order to get that final kill. So, so much to work with here. A few items that are GA'd uh, that are out of play for this matchup are the Angler, Heat Wave, Overshield, and Spike Grenade, which we actually saw last week. Uh, Sav GA Spike Grenades in the last matchup. That's been kind of like the 50 50 here. But these players have decided to not use the Spike Grenades. Instead, Stellar says, I'll get the job done. Just one shot from my sniper straight to the head. And now Stellar with that 2 0 lead. Jeff Steitzer in the head for Stellar, alerting him to the victory or the lead he's taken on Boo Boo Doo Boo. Boo Boo Doo Boo with a 50 cal in his head instead so quite the split here early on quite the opposite oh, of what no. we saw in game one is now it's stellar off to the early lead and a little magic a little bit of that dominance we saw from boo boo doo boo mm -hmm. we're now seeing from stellar instead 
and that can be just on the seller getting warmed up it can be on the, the change of scenery with the new map or the weapon and stellar with the sniper seems nearly unbeatable as boo boo has been around this corner into the waiting scope no connection there on the snipe shot boo boo doo though did catch some of that frag grenade that stellar left is kind of a, a welcoming gift for him as he rounded that corner on b pillars the re-engagement happens here live fire there's the body shot once again boo boo doo -boo comes out with a trade off of a plasma sticky grenade huge sticky to get on the board for boo boo doo -boo, but it's a huge swipe of the ready kill from stellar to get the to earn himself the trade and when you're up three you're just gonna kind of kick that can down the road and continue on with your lead though so a great play there by stellar and a great play by boo boo doo -boo here as well and that's kind of what we expect from these two heavyweights here in the winners finals another body shot goes down and that's gonna make it nearly impossible for boo boo doo -boo to stay alive as don't look now stellar has opened up a 5-1 lead now stellar hits the body shot throws the frag that forces boo boo doo boo out of cover boo boo doo boo had no choice but to re-engage on that fight and stellar was waiting for what looked to be an easy cleanup and again if these players are making it look easy they're doing their job and every kill has seemed so smooth the timing the 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 no hesitation between body shot grenade br cleanup uh right there stellar had that kill ready Right now, though, we'll see a little bit of a change of pace. There's no sniper to work with. Stellar is crouched below that B box, just below Nest. Boo Boo is the one looking for him. Boo Boo's still playing on that aggressive pace, and he needs to because he's four points down. And Stellar's not going to move from that green area until the sniper is a little bit more in play. There it is, 10 seconds. We should see Stellar push up to Nest here to contest Boo Boo Doo Boo and that sniper rifle. Boo Boo with the boom oh. block and a boom oh. sticky grenade as he takes down Stellar with the big brain play and earns himself a sniper rifle as well. Do I need to apologize the disrespect to the drop wall? I talk about repulsor this, repulsor that, but drop wall being the the playmaker in that case, I, I send an apology letter to the drop wall fan club because <laughs> I have learned my lesson. <laughs> Do not discount any piece of equipment when it comes to Halo Infinite gameplay. Yeah, I love the big rain play there from Boo Boo Doo Boo to bring himself back in this one. He's, it's the, you gotta get a little cheeky. You gotta get a little creative sometimes when you lose the lead in these 1v1s. We're seeing that from Boo Boo Doo Boo as he uses the boom block earlier to protect himself and get the kill. Now he's got the sniper rifle in his hands and he doesn't need the headshot. We've seen time after time after time, the DPS viability of those body shots mm -hmm. and the cleanup with the BR is wide open for these players. And that's the strategy that we're seeing Boo Boo Doo Boo deploy. Now he has Stellar on the run. He can kind of, he's controlling the full pace of this game at this point because of the situation stellar with the low ground stellar with low shields and stellar now is dead after all of that and now boo boo doo boo is coming back as he makes it a one kill game boo boo doo boo is just knocking on the door four to five is your score line stellar also uh because i learned my lesson did it drop the drop wall there at the top of c maybe was enough to buy him time but in the end he is taken down Stellar going for the repulsor here on the quick rotation to B side. Boo Boo Doo Boo finds the body shot. There's little to no cover here for Stellar. He was really trying to make the most out of it, but Boo Boo Doo Boo is not going to let him get away. He gets that initial damage. He cleans up the kill. He ties up the game. Two shots to work with, and it's the last two kills that have brought us to this score here. Notched up at five, just as it looked like Stellar was about to put together an early game performance, the likes of what we saw from Boo Boo Doo Boo in game one. It's Boo Boo Doo Boo with a little bit of that momentum back mm -hmm. in his hands, yeah. quite literally with that sniper rifle. And one shot is really a lot to work with because it can get you that one kill and it makes all the difference when you're in these 1v1s. So gonna elect to see if Boo Boo Doo Boo can land the body shot, headshot we've seen. We've got the body shot once again, and it's a little bit of deja vu. We saw this earlier. Stellar escaped out to the river. Now Stellar's gonna escape out to dummy door instead. So I like this. I like this from Stellar doing something different because uh, we know these players, they're taking yeah. down the mental notes and the tendencies of their opponents. So Stellar knew I went back river last time, died because of it, jotted out down that mental note, executed on it, and stays alive because of it.
I, I really thought that Boo Boo was kind of baiting the C plat push because of the repulsor. Gonna, you know, try to re engage to repulse Stellar off the map, but instead he falls all the way back to cuts, regens, and now that engagement going down in top mid. 15 seconds on the new sniper, so there might be a slight delay here, but Boo Boo does not have much time to rotate across the map unless he's wanting to give Stellar a free sniper, which he does not want to do. One thing though, Stellar is without any grenades, so he can decide to leave and pick up the frags there at the top of sandbags or he can just go straight to the sniper he does the repulsor plasma grenade combination the return to sender metal comes through and a trade of kills all the goodies now in that kind of subway system at bottom mid and it was the hairpin snipe shot that got Boo Boo Doo Doo weak and earned Stellar the trade, but Boo Boo Doo Boo not going to trade out again in this instance as he oh. earns the kill on Stellar and that sniper rifle. Let's see if he takes it back with Snipe Tower. No, he's going to elect to wait for the spawn of Stellar, and it's perfect timing as he slides right in and earns himself almost like a pre-fire headshot based on his knowledge of the spawn. So we're starting to see Boo Boo Doo Boo in his bag a little bit. Oh my goodness the last 30 seconds the last minute absolute non-stop action in some of the most a uh, crazy amazing plays that we've seen across this honda fan cup 1v1 series both of these players have that qualification spot in their sights boo boo do looking to make this a 2-0 series stellar pushing to take that away and force a game number three boo boo has the sniper in hand he has the two-point lead repulsor as well to work with stellar now with the commando trying to deal out some damage but Boo -Boo is holding on to the top c position not looking to give it up he does drop down to mid here comes stellar now commando at the ready boo boo is down to one shot as he tries to escape through the tunnels Wow, the survivability there was massive from Boo Boo Boo. as yeah. multiple times it looked like Stellar had him dead to rights. Now he's got the first couple shots on Boo Boo Boo. How is he going to rotate? He's going to actually wait for the pre-fire on Stellar instead. He's not going to he's not going to rotate. Now he is being low shields. Stellar with full and a full send on to Boo Boo Boo, sprinting, trying to chase him down. But we talked about this. You've got to <laughs> double back at this point. Uh -huh. You've got to use the repulsor to try to break the gap and break the, the route of your opponent. As we see him use the C plat to potentially get to the back of Boo Boo Doo Boo, but no, he's gonna snipe him in the face and it's gonna be a no of, of the no scope variety most likely based on what we saw there. Yeah. As Boo Boo Doo Boo now has three kills to work with and three sniper shots as well. That's right, you gotta, you gotta categorize your varieties of snipe shots. You got the ADS, you got the no scopes, and that quick fire Ooh. was enough for Boo Boo Doo Boo, but that sniper, that all important power weapon, switching hands as stellar against all odds, wins that pivotal 1v1. It could have been looking at, what, 10 to six, a four point game, but now cutting it to two. Also at top oh. mid, and with that no scope ahead shot, one point difference, and the equalizer is still in Stellar's hands. Here we go. This is what we were looking for, Magic. The high intensity, yes. high kill count, 1v1s we, we were hoping for from these two heavyweights. Eight to nine is the score. Three minutes left on the board and a new sniper to work with for, uh, for Stellar. So despite being down one, he's got a little bit of that momentum. He's got the toolkit to work with. So let's see how he elects to use it here as he grabs the stick. He's not looking to make any sounds with those footsteps as each kill is going to be so consequential here as we approach the end game two and a half minutes to go and boo boo doo boo with that lead is not going to push up towards stellar he's going to probably just hang out here in the tunnels and make stellar make that first move Stellar has four grenades, two frags, two plasmas. He's got repulsor, also four of those. Nine rounds of the sniper and the, of course, uh, the battle rifle to work with. So pretty much everything in Stellar's hands. He could go for a mine the gap here if he wanted to rush at Boo Boo. Instead, he steps back away from that plasma. Now he's closing in. He gets the repulsor. Oh no! I, what did he oh. mean to go for a melee there and instead repulsed? It seemed like a little bit of a misstep. And Boo Boo Doo Boo comes out with that kill instead oh and those close quarter no scope had uh, reliable damage had been there all day for stellar but it was the first time we saw him not connect connects with the melee and it's gonna be a trade 
Oh, so a two kill difference with less than two to go. Stellar is right in this though. But again, yes. he's going to have to take the initiative off spawn. He's going to have to hold W and he's doing just that as we're getting an instant gunfight once again, using that repulsor to get the yes. frag grenade out onto Boo Boo Doo Boo, take down his damage and prevent the timing it takes for him to get back to full shields. Don't think Stellar's going to be able, be able to take advantage of it here as Boo Boo should be back to full, but I love the use of that repulsor frag grenade combination <laughs> as Stellar goes the wrong way. Boo Boo Doo Boo baiting out his location and really just being a sneaky beaver at this point. That's all he has to do if he wants to ride this wave to victory. He's trying to he's trying to thwart your plan of both players being in double digits. You know, if Stellar gets one more kill, we are gonna see both players at the double digit mark. But that one minute comes across the clock. Boo Boo Doo Boo is hiding in the back of V. Stellar looks away at the wrong second, but Boo Boo Doo Boo actually kind of sells himself out with those early VR shots. And hopefully it's worth it as he does win that repulsor jump from Stellar to the top of Nest. Leaves him wide open to the BR shots from Boo Boo Doo Boo. Wow, and we saw everything thrown at Boo Boo Doo Boo by Stellar to potentially come back in not only this game, but this series, but Boo Boo Doo Boo has been resilient the resolve has been there and he's been in every week of these tournaments getting fourth place i think the uh back-to-back -back fourth places so we're seeing him break through we're seeing the sticky grenade land as well and that four kill lead will hold as boo boo doo boo wins this matchup in the winners finals qualifies for the 16k and makes it to the grand finals as well so a mouthful of accomplishments <laughs> for boo boo doo boo and it's kind of what you expect from a player that good yeah, his resume is long and he has all of the accreditation here as he secures his spot in the grand finals as well as the big 16k finale. Meanwhile, Stellar dropping to the lower bracket. I, I, I have to think though, Mikowski, we might have seen a preview of the grand finals. If Stellar can work through the lower bracket, there's some good names there too. Don't, don't, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's gonna be an easy route for Stellar at all, but this could potentially have been a preview for the grand finals that is coming up. Yeah, we talked about the taking mental notes earlier. If Stellar can work his way back to the grand finals and almost use this winner's finals as a chance to really learn Boo Boo Doo Boo's tendencies, play style, and what he likes to do, he right. could take advantage of it, really. And just like in football, it's really hard to beat a division opponent twice, three times. It's kind of like, it's going to be that case for Boo Boo Doo Boo if they do meet up in the grand finals once again. But Boo Boo Doo Boo convincingly earning himself a spot in the finals of this Honda 1v1 Classic Series. And Stellar, with the chance to come back. Who do you... Who do you think, Magic? Let's make a prediction. Straight uh -huh. stick, Aperture, oh. Stellar. Who do you who do you have taking on Boo Boo Doo Boo in the grand final? I want to see the straight stick versus Stellar matchup, right? In the lower bracket finals. That's what I'm really kind of rooting for. I mean, can't count out players like, you know, Hative, Aperture, uh, Glozies even we saw earlier. But if I'm looking across this, I, I think... You know, I think I'm going to say Stellar comes back to the lower bracket and gets that rematch. I think that can happen. He's already beaten Straight Sick 2-0 in the semis. So looking at the players here and what's left, I think Stellar comes back. I think I got to agree with you. I think Straight Sick put up a good fight, but it almost it almost like it, what Straight Sick looked like to Stellar, Stellar looked like to Boo Boo Doo Boo. So just like our, our friend Tony says all the time, there are levels to this. And Boo Boo <laughs> yeah. Doo Boo showing he might be very well the best 1v1 player in the game after the performance that we've seen from him today. Well, they're looking to join the ranks of the four players that have already qualified for those finals. From week one, it was Mortally and Shady. From week two, it was Sab and Invicted. And now Boo Boo Doo Boo is the fifth player locked in for that January 7th finals. Looking for one more person from today. Now, the top eight, the good news for them, they're all in the money for today's matchup. But again, we are locked on with our sights on that big prize. So uh, this is going to be it for Mikowski and myself on the cast coming up. Up. Tony and Tools are going to bring this tournament home. Uh, Mikowski, is there anything you want to mention here before we cut to that break? Again, just appreciate the opportunity to be on, here on LVT. This is a dream come true to be broadcast.
crafting and, and casting this Halo action alongside you guys. I have absolute love for the Halo community, and I think LVT embodies every bit of it uh, when you talk about the community. So shout out to LVT, shout out to the community. Yeah. It's always a fun time hanging out with you guys. Awesome. And to add to that, you know, a big thanks to Honda for sponsoring this tournament series, all the admins that are working behind the scenes to keep things running. Thank you so much. We wouldn't be here without you. And obviously the biggest thanks has to go to the players, giving us that, that content to watch, that entertainment value. So it's been a great time here on the cast today. Uh, Mikowski, as always, I've loved getting to work with you on this broadcast. When we come back from break, we'll be heading to the lower bracket to decide who matches up in the grand finals against Boo Boo 2.